Welcome to Focus Product Spotlight. This is Alessio Lario, Global Product Manager here at Focus. We are happy to support our customers where we can and with any technical questions you might have. Today's question is what are the differences between the AnyGrid PSWH hybrid inverter charger and the AnyGrid PSWB battery inverter charger series? Before we continue, drop us a like or subscribe to our channel if you like content such as this. The first difference between AnyGrid PSWH and AnyGrid PSWB inverter chargers is the maximum PV input voltage. PSWH units typically support a much higher PV input voltage as compared to the PSWB equivalent models. This means that for the PV array, you can typically save money up front for the PSWH because you can build longer strings with higher voltages as compared to the PSWB. This in turn means that you need less copper wiring saving cost and you do not need string fuses. The second difference between the PSWH and PSWB series is the charging current. For both PV and AC charging, the PSWB offers about a quarter less amps to charge the battery. So if you have a particularly large PV array, then the PSWH will often be the better choice. Point three is related to the differences between the PSWH and the PSWB topology. The PSWH is grid interactive. What this means is that it can mix power coming from the AC source, being either a grid or a genset for example, together with the power generated by your solar array. The PSWB is not able to do this. For the PSWB, you can either power your loads through PV and the battery at the same time, or through the AC source. But you can't do both at the same time. However, even if you're powering your loads from the AC source, your PV power is not lost on the PSWB. Even if you're not using it directly in your loads, it's still being used to charge your battery. And then, depending on how you've set up the PSWB, that energy can be used later when you switch back to off-grid mode. The fourth difference is battery-free mode. The AnyGrid PSWH hybrid inverters have a unique battery-free mode where we can operate the PSWH with only PV and an AC source, but no connection to the battery. This means that your AC loads can use PV power and AC power at the same time, without you needing to invest in costly batteries. The PSWB, by contrast, needs to be connected to a battery to function. The fifth difference is the removable display of the AnyGrid PSWH. This display can be mounted in a separate room from the main inverter unit, for example, by using a standard networking cable. The removable display has a host of different connectivity features which a PSWB does not offer. These include a battery port, to communicate with the battery management system of a lithium battery, for example. Communication can work with RS-485, CAN bus, or RS-232. Furthermore, the removable display has a BLE module, which means that you can connect the PSWH with the Focuslink mobile app via Bluetooth. Finally, the PSWH has an integrated clock, and with that, it can use the timestamps to save information. This in turn means that the internal data logger can be downloaded by you via a USB OTG device to be able to debug the unit if ever you have any issues, or if you want to look a little bit deeper into the energy flows of your system and the state of the various components. This real-time clock can also be used in the PSWH to provide priority timers. You can set an override priority for either the AC source or for the charging source. For the PSWB, of course, you can also set these sources. However, you can't use any priority override timers. We hope you found this information valuable. If so, it would be helpful for you to give us a like and subscribe to this channel for more content such as this. If you have any technical or sales questions, please check out the links below in the description. For more videos and information, go to www.focus.com. Focus making reliable energy access possible. Anywhere, anytime, any grid.